what's going on everyone welcome back i hope everybody's having a great week all right guys we're gonna jump back into the mars pathfinder photo i know i know you guys remember that that was with the small sojourner rover right and i'm gonna let you see this because this is you know it's just crazy the things i found in here but it wasn't until after a couple of my subs say hey chris check this out chris check that out there was actually about three of them and once we got into it, i said you know first of all i just went and said you know I'm just going to go into the whole photo. I'm just going to do the whole thing. See if there's anything of any value in there. And you're going to be surprised what I found. Let's have a look because this is just cool. All right. So jump right into the actual photo. You guys remember this photo. This is pretty cool. Um, and the other thing is I want you guys to stay tuned. Just stay, just stick with me throughout this whole video. When you look at this lander, you can see where the, the actual tracks are. Oh, my bad. You can see where the tracks are where the rover actually came off of. Now, if I had to guesstimate... Not from the actual solar panel, but from the camera to the rover. I'm guesstimating about 15, maybe 20 feet stretching a little bit, right? But what about the objects in the background here? What about those? Okay. Are they closer or further, right? Because I know some of you guys ask me, hey, Chris, how big are the size of these things? How do we know what they are? And although I can guesstimate from this rover to the lander, not so much in the background. But anybody who understands anything that's got to do with focal length, and I know a lot of you guys that are that photographers, professional or not, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not a professional by any stretch of the means, so I looked this up. And I'm going to show you a video that will kind of make you go, whoa, are they using the same tactic on this? And are these things bigger than they appear? Okay, so let's get back into it, like I said. Now, a couple of my uh, subs, actually a few of them, uh, mention a few things. I'm just going to go over those real quick. One of my subs, she said, hey, Chris, what about that thing just to the left of the rover? Now, I'm not exactly sure exactly what she's talking about, but I'm looking at this here, and she said it looked like some kind of weird, uh, like, I don't know if it was a rabbit or something that was, like, leaned over on top of what looked like one of these small beings. And I'm thinking, okay, well, let's have a look, right? So I'm looking at this here, and the only thing I can see is right here, this object right here. Now, this bigger rock or whatever this may be sitting here is almost on top of this whatever this is right so it looks like the head is right here two eyes and of course you got the nose right here and then the mouth going right across then what looks like you know the the neck piece and then the arm coming out like this here looks like it may have a couple fingers right here the shoulder and then the arm coming down and it looks like something right here like part of it like it may be buried now i'm not sure what that is that may be just simple pareidolia on the other side of the token how do we know right if you look at the people back in you know like in pompeii what happened to them right yeah i mean we know through one way or another mars had a catastrophic event so how do we know right um and how do we know that these beings or intelligent beings whatever they were on mars were our size um, I've heard many stories where they're like our size, some are a little taller, some are smaller, and it's no different than here on Earth. Go to some of these, these countries, people are a lot shorter, right? Some are taller. So there you go. Now, we all remember this item here, right here, that weird looking object, right? And then I had this guy tell me here, hey Chris, what, what is this here? It looks like part of a road. And I don't know. It's it just happens to weird be weird. Everything is like these jagged rocks everywhere you look, and this this right here is completely bare, right? What is that? I don't know either. So I got into this thing and I said I want to just go ahead and just do the whole photo and get into this. All right, so let's back up. In addition, I did have another subscriber say, "Hey, what about the cars in the photo?" And I'm thinking cars. Now he never did some send me any photos or anything like that, but and I said this is the reason why I've got to get into this photo, right? Wow. Okay, so let's let's clear this up a little bit, call it corrected, and get into it. Now, I'm going to jump into the photo because I want you guys to see these things before I actually, all I do is just do the auto color, right? Just so you, just to let you guys know, I haven't done anything like this. Sometimes the auto color, I usually like to do it manually because it just seems to come out better. Uh, but you can see it's the difference. I just did auto and then I just did a, my color corrected and it came out the same. All right, so I'm looking at this right here and I'm going, whoa, what the hell is this? So this object here looks like it's got this weird kind of almost like opening here. You got right here, goes down, goes across, and comes down. But what I didn't notice at first was that this is actually smoother than it, so my bad on that too. Um, right here, it looks like there's like little stock squares. And the only way I found these 
is not, I mean, you can see them right there. You can actually see they're outlined, right? So I seen that and I was like, okay. And then I saw others, other squares. And people are gonna go, well, those are just rocks. No, they're not. And the reason why I don't believe that they are is because they're right in a row. And I'm gonna enhance this better for you guys so you guys will see this a whole lot more. But check this out. Rectangle. Another one. And here's the thing, guys. They give us these high... Oh, I should say high. Yeah, I'll be all right. Low res, I should say. They keep the high for themselves, the high resolution photos. Now, these aren't exact size. The way I'm drawing in, they're actually more perfect and almost identical. Um, I've seen those. Now, check this item out. And like I said, I want to make this a whole lot clearer for you guys in a minute. This item right here, check this out. Looks like it comes forth like this. And it has a rectangular area. Looks like there's one right on the side and behind it. This one right here seems to be a little further back. Then there's another one on the side of it. Looks like a little further back. But then check these out. Going completely across. Now, I'm going to butcher these, but that's all right. Because I'm going to show you guys really what they really look like in a minute. Now, I want to show you what I did because I outlined this right here. Not only did I do the... Not only did I did do that, but then I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What is this white right here? I'm just going to follow the line to it. And it looks like it comes down, right? And this one here goes down like this. And I'm going, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute here. What? This one here, almost the same thing. Kind of comes down, does this. And then you can see this part going like this and coming down. I'm going, these actually look like vehicles. What the hell is that? So let me show you what I got. Did this here. This is what I see. So what I use is the black line to show you guys better. See that? And there's something else right here. You can see these lines. Look at this. Square. So these are squares at this time. And there's another right here. And again, I'm butchering this, but that's okay because I'm going to show you guys what's really going on here, right? So, okay. So, so far I got this, but check this out, guys. I'm not going to do this first because I want you guys to see this for yourself before I start doing any enhancement on the background. Check this out. Look at the way these things come down. Well, let's do it this way. It'd be easier. Let's go this way. Comes down. There's another one going like this. Comes down. It looks like framing. Like, like there's something there. And it's not just that area. It goes on. Now, I'm going to show you, once you enhance and get a little darker and pull the darker areas out, you're going to see what I mean. Okay. So, we've got this here. It should get a little brighter. But check this out. The lines are now starting to come out. Check this out. See it? I'm going to go back, give you guys an idea how far what that looks like. Let's get back in. I'm going to show you each of the enhancements as I go along. There's so much more in these photos, it Boom, mind-blowing. So now, check this out. Let's get back into it. Now, what I do is just made any kind of dark colors, the darker, and just made them darker, and the lighter made them lighter, right? So you can see it right there. Okay, check this out, guys. What the hell? It looks like some kind of post-apocalyptic kind of scene to me, like something has really gone wrong, and from what we're hearing, there has been uh, some kind of catastrophic event, right? Now, I think some people have a problem with... How is it possible that they could have had intelligent life on Mars? How do we know that it hasn't? How do we know? We might be just the young kids on the block, or maybe we originated from Mars. Kind of hard to tell. It's all speculation. So I went black and white on this. Let's go back out a little bit, and you can see what looks like framing. Look, even this little one back here now, you can see that. Look at the squares. In fact, I'm going to do this, just so you guys, you guys can see this, rather. You can see them right in here, all the ones right in here. The ones to the side here, I'm just going to back up just a little bit. One is one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And you get one, two. It's a little screwed up there. I can't tell what that is. And, of course, you get this big docker area and then these two here. Now, watch this. I'm just going to go back and forth. And you can see, just look at the photo as I go back and forth. Those squares are there. Now, what the hell these things are? They look, at least our pareidolia would tell us, right, that these look like some kind of vehicles or something or some kind of structures here on Mars. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, now let's get back into the black and white. 
And again, look at this item. Look at these three items here. And again, I'm going to jockey back and forth. Let me see. I think we're over here. No, oh, we're right here. Back and forth. Look at the actual lines, too, in the background. So you can see these, way, these, these go like this here, right? Okay. Just look at the lines in the background as well. They're there. A lot of this has been really taken up, but these lines, this particular line goes down past this. That's the problem. And once you burn that junk away and burn through and bring the lines out, this is what I'm getting. You tell me. Check this out. Now let's go all the way down. Now this is what I did earlier, because I went from this one here, 7, and I want to do this middle section to see if I could bring that out. This looks like a post-apocalyptic scene. That's what it looks like to me. Of course, you guys can be the judge, and I believe the stuff is there. We've seen so many what look like structures, some kind of weird vehicles, some kind of something. And how do we know this thing hasn't been these haven't been here for hundreds or maybe thousands of years? We don't know, right? It could have been when uh, uh, Dr. John Brandenburg seen the explosions in uh, 1941. We don't know, right? It's all speculation. We just don't know. We really don't know. To me, if you're going to have two huge nuclear explosions in midair, that's about that's going to do some damage. Guarantee it. Now, here's that other spot, this other thing over here, on the ground, right here. What is that? I mean, these things are like buried in the ground. They appear to be buried in the ground, and some not so much buried in the ground. All right, let me show you the video I was talking about. Because, again, how do we know how far this really is? It, from, from this rover, right here in the corner, to this area, is that 20 feet away? 30 feet away? 100 feet away? We don't know. And there's no way of knowing that. I'm going to tell you why. Because this is, the, this is the, the photographer here, okay? And this is Natasha. I believe that's her name. And what he does is, I guess this is not, very, not, not a very busy street, so he has her standing in the middle of the road, and they're taking photos. What he does is he goes from, uh, again, he's using the focal length. And what he's saying is don't zoom in. Just step back or forward depending on what you're using, right? 10 millimeter. I think he goes all the way up to like 100, but that's not important. It's the 10 and 20 millimeter I want you guys to see. Now, you're going to see her standing in, here, in, in the middle. And he's going to go over these photos with her right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'll give you the guys the link so you can watch the whole thing and get a better idea just how maybe they're fooling our eyes, just, you know, what's going on. Okay, it's the sides of the photo you want to pay attention to, both the cars and the buildings. Now, listen to this. At 10 millimeters. Here we go. Here you are. At 10 millimeters. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, you see? Now, notice her face, the cars, and the buildings, right? Now, what he does is at 10 millimeters, he keeps, he tries to keep like, I think he said like a hand, like from here to here from the sky. And then he tries to do the lower part of a shirt to try to keep it perfect. So whatever he uses, like this is 10 millimeter. Now listen to what he says. See how it's pulled Natasha's face forward. But look, I've got the bottom of the picture is the seam of the dress, top of the picture, but a hand breadth of sky. As we move on from 10 to 20, see how it's changed? Natasha's gone a more normal shape. Also, look, the cars, have, the, mm. the cars and the houses have jumped forward as we flick between them. Moving on out from there, I think we went to... Now, do you see what I mean? That is just bizarre. But is that, is that just another way of messing with our eyes and that we think this is like, oh, this is only like maybe 30 feet, 50 feet away? How do we know? And even if it was only 50 feet away, 100 feet away, that's, these items would be so much bigger. If you were to bring them forward toward this rover, they would be much bigger. Now, is it possible that they're, they're playing games with these, this focal length as well? Anyway, guys, you guys tell me what you think is really going on, because when I see this, I'm just like, whoa, this is, it, it just looks to me like it's a post-apocalyptic scene. That's the only thing I could come up with. It looks like frames of structures in the background. You can see where it's shadowed, like inside, it's just framing. There's the black and white. And when I see that, I'm just like, oh, man, that is just awesome. To me, they were intelligent. That's all there is to it. They were intelligent. Now, what they had, I don't know. It looks like something we see here on Earth. Um, if I didn't know any better and somebody said, hey, by the way, take a look at this photo. Tell me what you see. Especially if it was in black and white, I'd go, I don't know. It looks like a few cars. One, two, three. Looks like structures in the background. 
I don't know, man. I mean, that's what it looks like. And then if somebody laid it on me and said, oh, by the way, this is Mars, I'd think they were nuts, right? But nonetheless, it's still there. Look at this. One, two, three. This object sitting right here. Not sure what that is. Oh, here's another thing I want you guys to see. And this is not doing anything to the photo. Check this out. You'll like this. Again, you can't tell me this is a simple rock. Watch this. I'm going to zoom in. I don't know if you guys can even see it. This is why <laughs> they blend this stuff so well. It's awesome. Watch this. Right here, you've got this item. What looks like it does this. Goes down. Goes across. Again, goes down. See a corner. Now, check out this piece sticking right out of it. See that? What looks like something square laying on the ground. Is that really natural? Something that's totally rectangular, square shaped at the end, all the way through, sticking out of something like this, is that natural? Come on, guys, come on now. Look at it. <laughs> There's just no way. It's there. It's, it's in the photo. There's no doubt about it. And that's the standard photo. I haven't done anything. This is the way it comes from NASA, JPL. That item right there. That's not something I did. That's in the photo. And of course, again, we don't know what it is, and we sure in hell don't know how far it is, but that from there to there don't look that far. You're talking five, eight feet maybe. That's the way it looks like to me. Um, doesn't look very far, but the objects in the back, there's something right there. You can see, especially this object, I don't know what that is right there. Whatever it is, it's something right there, and it looks like it has a hole in it. But I'll let you guys actually inspect this a little bit more. Now, again, I've done this before with this particular object here. But what's in this photo is a lot more to it. You guys be the judge. Tell me what you think is going on. And like I said, if you wanted to, take a screenshot of this. Show one of your friends. Go. They're going to go, well, it looks kind of vague. It looks like some kind of, you know, it's not clear. But it looks like, I don't know, it looks like some kind of old-time buses and trucks or something. What looks like buildings or something. I don't know. It looks like... I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it much longer. I wanted to get this thing out for you guys because this, to me, is awesome. Um, and to me, that's just, it just seals it. It just, every time we find something like this in, the, in, in these photos, it just makes you say, there's no doubt in my mind that these items are actually on Mars. It looks like some kind of scene that they drove up on or they knew was there. This is the reason why they dropped the Sojourner rover there and the lander. This is the reason why they're there. To take the photos of that particular area and just look around and say, whoa, what's going on here, right? Anyway, guys, have yourself a good one. Always appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.